Hey writers, it's Casey and welcome back to an all new video. Today we're talking about Instagram and you and how to use Instagram tools for your benefit. I can't tell you enough how many times I've seen on Instagram where writers have their accounts set to private. This is not only a hindrance to you getting a broader view, however, it's an, it becomes an issue later. If you're a writer who's trying to promote your art or your book online, then it's best that you make your profile public, simply because more viewers will be able to see it. As statistics show, it's very rare that people actually accept followers who have private accounts. There are many benefits of making your profile public, simply because you can actually create a business account. That way you get a broader view and you can sell your products or your book Online. Instagram offers you many in-depth tools like analytics and insights where you can see how many people have viewed your posts and also you get specific selling options and linking to your website. Instagram is not only just a social media platform and for interaction, it also helps you to grow and develop your business. Yes, your business. Your book is actually a business because you have a product to sell. You also need to have a target audience. These are the people that see your posts on a daily basis and people who you're trying to attract. For example, if you're a horror writer, then you want to attract other horror writers or horror readers. It's best to be mindful of your posts as well as attract your audience and establish your niche. The next thing you want to do on IG is you want to be personal, you want to be likable, and you want people who come to your page to be attracted to what you have to say. How do you do this? Well, posting pictures of just you and your dog or your cat is not really relaying a message. As a writer, you want to do active writing photos where you're actually working on your WIP, you're going out to like a bookstore. Well, right now, of course, we're quarantined, but these are things that you want to do to engage your followers. So posting unnecessary selfies. What do I mean by that? Well, you snapping selfies every day. It's not really relaying anything to the people following you. You have to make it enticing for people to stop and look and listen. Another thing I've noticed is to have an aesthetic. It doesn't have to be sterile, like perfectly um, cut pictures and so on, or professional pictures even. The pictures have to be clear, definitely. And number two, you want to make sure it's pleasing to the eye. Meaning it can't be a hodgepodge of photos like you and your dog, you and your cat, you being outside. It has to connect to the audience. Relay what's going on in the photos. The photos should tell a story when you're posting. We live in a day and age of instant gratification, meaning people are mostly on Instagram for likes. If you're trying to promote a product or capture an audience, likes is not really important. Actually, there's an algorithm. It counts how many likes you have, how many people have interacted, and it provides you with a rundown of insights, very valuable information so you know exactly how your posts reach other people. So with that being said, the most important thing is not the likes. It's actually your interaction, your engagement with your followers. Are you talking to them? Are you asking them pertinent questions that demand their attention? Are they sharing what you've posted? So you can get the algorithm to work for you. That's knowing how to use hashtags. I actually created something in our writers group, which is the Kick-Ass Authors Club, of how to use hashtags appropriately. If you DM me, I'll be more than happy to send you that information. Hashtags are like some type of finder. You put it at the end of your post, and you're attracting the certain social groups. In imagine Instagram is a gigantic group, and within this gigantic group, there are many subgroups. For example, if you like uh, writing literature or romance, there's a group for everything. So the hashtag gauges it so that it will fall into those groups. Hashtags give you visibility and they allow you to be seen by your targeted group. Another thing that this algorithm does is it tracks spam. Many of the authors and writers are so afraid to share their work or sell their books online because they're constantly maybe spamming their friends or their followers. It's easy to spam. You're basically posting about your book, where to find it, and how much it costs. However, when you're hashtagging, you're using the same hashtags over and over again. This makes the algorithm think that you're sending out spam or that you may be a bot. However, that's not your intention. This is why it's so important to use hashtags appropriately on Instagram. Your posts have to have four components for them to be considered viewable. 
Number one, it needs to be informative in some way. Remember I told you anytime you post a picture, don't just post a selfie with the emoji. You have to be telling a story. If you're out taking a walk, you could say, well, I'm out clearing my head and getting geared up to write again. Do something that relays what you're trying to convey in the picture and also something that will attract that specific targeted audience. The next thing is entertainment. It needs to have an entertainment element or value. No one's telling you to be a comedian. However, people like to laugh and they want to be able to feel something when you've made a post. So you can relate it to anything that you may have seen like current events or something that you're working on that you consider very dear and important to you. Family, friends, activities. These are things that people do in their normal everyday lives which they consider entertainment. The next thing you wanna look at is trends. What may be trending? Okay, we know that TikTok is a hot item and people like TikTok videos because they're short, sweet, and sometimes funny. So you can use that as another element to what you're trying to relay or post. So right now the biggest trend is quarantine 2020, of course. People are at home and doing activities at home. So you can jump on the bandwagon with that and do your very own home-oriented type of activity. Lastly, you want to have a call to action for posts that you make. I try not to do a call to action on every photo that I make because not everybody wants to be asked a question. So you can ask them to do a thumbs up or put an emoji in the um, comments below if they agree with your statement or however, but you want them to engage and interact with you. That's why a call to action is so important. A call to action could actually be used in your stories as well, meaning you can swipe up to view the story. When you post, there are actually three goals that you want to accomplish. The first one is you want them to engage with you. This is a social interaction between you and your followers. It's supposed to be flowing like a regular conversation between a friend. So if they ask a question under your post or they post a commentary or something, you want to respond within an ample amount of time. If you let several hours pass, they're gonna forget that interaction and you're gonna lose that engagement. The second thing you want to do is get them to share or repost your your post because you're sharing your information so a larger audience of people is going to be able to see what you've posted. And the third thing is you want to make some type of impact. You have to post quality information that's going to attract your social group. It's very important. So like I said, just posting selfies or pictures of your dogs and cats, it's not really doing anything for the person following you. Of course, you wanna let your personality shine through, but at the same time, you're trying to relay a message and attract a certain crowd. So your takeaway from today's video should be what to do with your Instagram page. You wanna make it attractive. You wanna make it personable. So you want to have elements of your personal life on your page. People like realness. They like in front of your face. They like you being out in the world and they wanna see the world through your eyes. So you definitely wanna make it personable and you wanna make it attractive and you also want to, people to listen to what you have to say. It's so very important. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any comments, please list those below. And thank you so much for joining me. I'm Casey Lossner.